Yeah, I had a total fail on trying to uh, restore another battery I had. It was a Group 29 like this, um, Walmart type. Um, wait a minute, it was a Group 27, excuse me, for starting a car. And uh, I replaced this with a Group 29. Actually, what I did was um, I put a Group 29 in the El Camino. And I was just able to fit it. And I uh, put some rubber on the side there just in case the battery casing touches the metal. But uh, even though that's a deep cycle battery, since it's a Group 29, it's huge as all hell. And it'll start up this 350, no problem. It's like there's no strain on it. You're not supposed to use a deep cycle battery with an automotive applications. But if it's so damn big, this thing is way oversized for this application as it is. Now, uh, I found out from Walmart, because I was looking at these things, and I says, you know, they're not bad when if you got it like a dud, you know, no questions asked, you bring it back, they replace it, because they don't, you know, it's pretty easy. But there's difference in uh, price. Uh, the last time I got a Max, this was uh, from 2008. This one still checks out good. Um, and uh, the other one I had from 2008, something physically inside of it broke. Otherwise, batteries can last you 10, 20 years, no problem. I actually have a little battery um, that is from 1997. If it's a one-year AutoZone battery, it's still good. So I picked this one up from uh, Walmart because I could not um, get the other battery restored with Loom Solution. And the only thing I'm using it for is emergency power with this 1200 watt inverter which is a pretty strong inverter now what I like to do with these batteries because when you need them you, you can't see what the hell's going on because it's dark you know a lot of times and uh, you know it's there's no light I like putting a big damn plus sign and a big minus sign on the batteries and um, there's no way you can see what the hell's going on because uh, you know when you go to need them you go to need them it's like confusion you know if the lights are out this should happen unexpectedly so let's see what the hell kind of charge this thing has not too bad not too bad 12 and a half volts resting um i like this charger it's not bad the only thing is that i had one that was 15 amp, uh 15 max amps the only thing is i don't like about them is they have this fan on the side and that wears out and actually uh that's what broke on the last one but um uh, it's pretty good because it puts a little bit of an overcharge on it. But um, if you're going to go pick up a battery, I noticed uh, in Walmart, they got a two-year um, Max, Max, which is what I have in the uh, El Camino, but that's from 2008. And they have a one-year free replacement. They are the exact same battery. There's no difference between the two. They are exactly the same. The difference is the warranty. So, you know, if you're using this for a boat trailing motor, trolling motor trolling motor you might want to get the two-year warranty in my case I'm not using it for nothing I just bought a battery because I keep it on a side here in case I want to use the generator the uh, inverter excuse me and I have a generator here also but also if I want to use an inverter for something I can use it and that's why I have the deep cycle battery but um, uh, I did just want to point out that that experiment I tried with uh, converting a broken battery over with loom it failed i was working on this i was working on it for the last two weeks i'm not going to freaking display all the crap i was going through i emptied the battery out with distilled water hot distilled water about 15 times then i even tried to use some vinegar in it then i tried to empty it out you know i tried the loom solution after rinsing it out again with distilled water still did not take a charge so I says, let me rinse it out again with distilled water a few more times and put battery acid in it. It still did not take a charge. So, you know, sometimes when you're trying to restore these batteries, if something physically is broken inside of them, you're screwed. You can't do a damn thing. Otherwise, batteries can last you more than 10 years easy. So a lot of times 20 years. A lot of times 20 years or more. And um, it's just a matter of dumping them out cleaning them out and using a good charger like this charger sometimes I use the manual charger to get them going but this charger you might have to try it like the battery's totally dead with these electronic chargers it'll go into a sulfation mode and it might say it's a bad battery even though it's good 
because it takes it takes a slow charge what you can do though if you just keep putting it on there at um, you notice this is at um, in other words I'm using a 2 amp cycle a lot of times that it'll start it'll take a charge that way if you try to go up here on a fit on a 10 or 6 or 15 you might not it might go into sulfation mode in this case it's a brand new battery so it's not a problem but I do want to say that the difference between the construction of Walmart batteries from the last I don't know I guess it's from the last seven years there's absolutely no difference to the same damn same damn thing and they are not too bad of a battery they're not too bad of a battery so and if you want to get something like this for an automotive application as long as you can you know you're not supposed to use a deep cycle battery in a car because a car has got different requirements but if you can fit a group 29 in this car in your car you're going to be okay i had a group this is supposed to take a group 24 i had an oversized group 27 that broke and then i wind up putting a group 29 it's this cranks over this engine no problem plus i have a load tester to test it but um, just want to point out if something physically breaks inside the battery all these battery restoration procedures don't work i mean i was working on this damn thing for like this one battery i just exchanged in a walmart for two weeks i dumped it out probably like 20 times i was just it was like a matter of determination and i just could not get it to freaking work it's it's screwed it's screwed something inside the plates was shorted or something i really don't know but otherwise if you uh, keep them on a charger like this or a battery tender they will last 20 years they will last 20 years the other thing is you want to make sure you keep your inverter clean in either a container or some kind of heavy plastic like this I have this in heavy plastic I keep it under uh, the stairwell and um, it's always ready for me so I can just run it at any time but if you leave this out and you think yeah it's protected from you know you want to keep it from moisture like the dampness and you also want to keep it from bugs because if any bugs get inside this damn thing it'll short out the electronic components that's why you want to keep this either in something like this and the best thing to keep this in would be an ammo can with um, a liner in it because like a liner that doesn't conduct electricity because that would keep it from being EMP proof and I'm going to be getting uh, some more ammo cans for this thing because this way it would have some kind of electricity you know if the worst comes to the worst I hope not <laughs>